Now, let's not forget that they're trailing by one here. They're 3-2 down, the Ukrainians. Michael Gallagher, the referee. And uh, Butsenko, just 21 years of age. Two wins from two fights for this uh, youngster. And uh, very important that Butsenko gets this uh, first win, first three points on the board if the Ukrainians are going to stay in this, Richard. Yeah, a bit of pressure on his uh, young shoulders, but he's 2-0 in this tournament. He's boxed very well. Here's his opponent here. And you have a, a WSB ranking for Butsenko of six, and his opponent, Miraz Zakipov, he's got a ranking of seven. So again, it's a 50-50 contest, nothing in, in it at all. And it really is anyone, so both boxers in with a great chance. But Butsenko must, for his camp, get that win and then level it up. So, you know, it's very exciting, Nick, and the crowd know that also. Well, uh, Zakipov, the uh, Astana Arlands Kazakh boxer, 23 years of age, three from one, three one, three wins, one defeat. He's the taller of the two boxers. But looking deeper into the record, Richie, he lost his last fight just before the playoffs, Zakipov, and I'm not sure whether that's just given his confidence a little bit of a boost. He'll need a lot of uh, a lot of work, a lot of concentration, a lot of pushing from the coaching staff to try and put that defeat behind him. Yeah, and when you look at both boxers, their their height and their reach, you know, Butsenko is is two or three um, inches shorter than Zakipov, and that'll be very important, won't it? Zakipov's got to box at range, he's got to keep it long, but Senko has got to get inside the long reach of Zakipov. So the tactics really are already ironed out, aren't they, between two boxers, Zakipov tall, rangy, but Senko shorter, he's got to box more mid to short range and got to push the contest. So styles make fights and these two styles are going to clash and it should be an exciting contest with Butsenko on that front foot. You're absolutely right, Richie, as you said earlier. World ranked seven and six, the two boxers in the ring. This is the first of the five bouts. Bantam weight division. Very evenly matched, I have to say. They've never met before. But of course, the Ukrainians cannot help. But remember, they've lost twice to the Astana Arlands at home and an away. Early on in the season, they st slowly but surely, as the competition unfolded, changed their tactic, changed their squad, and then for the past uh, eight to ten weeks of this competition have been unbeatable. But uh, Zakipov, just ever so slightly, the more experienced of uh, the two. But uh, as you said earlier, Richie, this is what makes the WSB so special. Evenly matched, this is anyone's for the taking this opening bat. Yep, and it will be very important. And it, the, the opening round will be important also to get the nose in front. So, yeah, it's all to play for. Really looking forward to this one. Well, you can hear the cheers from the crowd. Every seat in the house has been sold for this finale tonight. First of the five three-minute rounds. The uh, Ukrainian Ottomans out of the blue corner and boxing in the blue and yellow shorts. The Astana Arlands in their familiar gold and black. Nice long straight punches, taking advantage, just as you'd said, Richie. Keeping him as far away as he can, but using that extra reach to put in a couple of early scores here. Good start for Zakupov. Yeah, he's nice and busy, isn't he? And if you've got those physical advantages, you must use them, and that's why he's mainly boxing. Look at range, straight shots rather than, than bent arm punches. And Butsenko, although he's the southpaw, he'll have to move those feet into range and get closer up to his man. So, yeah, this should be an exciting one. Good right hand from Zakupov, but very fast fists from the Ukrainian Butsenko. Some excellent body shots as well in those two exchanges. Yeah, that was impressive there from Butsenko, because he's actually boxing when he... When he decides to move those feet into range, he's doubling up and he's throwing combinations, working downstairs, but as you will notice, they're bent arm shots, he's got to get up close, and that will be his problem. Another good right hand, and again from Zakopov, good three-point combinations from the Kazakh boxer in the gold, and again, starting to frustrate Busenko there.
Yeah, what Zakatov has got to do here also. Good, good left to the body from Butsenko. But what Zakatov's got to do here, Nick, is target the right hand, especially when Butsenko starts moving into range. He must just throw that right hand with precision, with accuracy, and bring him on to that shot. Because remember, Butsenko's the southpaw. When he closes the gap down, comes forward, he walks onto that right hand, and that's what Zakatov has got to target. That's better work from Butsenko, 20 seconds, 25 seconds on the clock here. Another good shot though in return, retaliation from Zakipov. Yeah, this has been a close first round. I think these just these single right hands from Zakipov may have just edged it for him. He just looks that little bit sharper, but there's not a lot in it. You're absolutely right, Richie, I think the uh, Southport Walking on to the right hand of Zakupov, just one too many times, and the judges will have noted that. For me, the Ireland's boxer has the round, we'll wait and see. Yeah, some good stuff here, good right hands from Zakupov, bringing Butsenko onto that shot. But Butsenko played his part also, combinations downstairs, he's willing to trade, but he's got to get up close, and keeps walking onto those right hands from Zakupov. Good round. And there is the confirmation, all three judges in agreement that uh, Miras Zakupov, the bantamweight from the Astana Islands, takes the first round up against Mikola Butsenko for the Ukrainian Ottomans. Second out. Round two, Well, as you can see, the Southport in the blue shorts. Jabs with the right, looking to get that left hand in. But because of that different stance and style, really needs to watch that he doesn't walk onto that right hand. Which hit caught him really quite nastily on a couple of occasions in the opener. Let's see if he can just show some slightly better footwork, some better angles to try and avoid that right hand of Zakopov. Yeah, and what Butsenko has got to target also, Nick, here is when Zakopov throws the right hand, sometimes he misses the target and he's overreached and he's overcommitted. That's when Butsenko has got to go back with three or four punches. But Zakopov boxed him very cleverly on that back foot. Won't commit. Perhaps a little more work downstairs for Butsenko to start the combinations. That's why he was successful in the first. Doesn't as yet seem to be repeating that. There's that right hand on target again for Zakupov. See, Butsenko's getting a little bit frustrated now, Nick. What he wants to happen here, he wants Zakupov to come for him. But Zakupov very cleverly just staying on the outside. He's not taking the bait, he's waiting for Butsenko. And Butsenko is struggling a little bit here because he wants his opponent to come forward. There you go. As soon as he comes forward, he comes back with the counter. That was good from Butsenko. <laughs> Just seeing there, Richie, if there's looked to be a cut to the eye, but he's OK. It's just a bit of bruising. To Butsenko, that is. Oh, there again. Counter punch timing absolutely brilliant from Zakopov. You can see how well evenly matched these two are. There's nothing in it at all. It's literally who makes the mistake gets punished by their opponents. Very good indeed. Both technically very good. Oh, that body shot, you know, is a, is a cracking punch from Butsenko. Whips the left uppercut through the middle to the body. This is a closer round. And I'd like to see more of that one. Start the combination with those body shots, possibly. Certainly an air of confidence about Butsenko's work now, much more than the first. Yeah, I think this has been a better round. He's beat Zakopov to the punch, 
I think Zakopov now and again has missed the target and Butsenko's punished him. Good finish for Butsenko in the blue corner for the Ukrainian Ottomans. Is that enough to tie it up? I'm not sure, it'll be very close to second round. Yeah, close second round. I actually think Butsenko has just done enough, but those body shots for me, I hope they've been scoring them. He's been whipping them downstairs, that left upper cup. And it's like a bolo shot going downstairs, but here Butsenko on the front foot seems to be scoring a lot more. Let's have a look at the scores. Absolutely right, Richie. That's why you're the expert in the commentary box. All judges have that Mikhaila Butsenko ahead in the second round. They're all square. Remember, it is five rounds in the World Series of Boxing. The only global pro boxing league competition. Franchises from four continents, Africa, America, Asia and Europe. And it's Europe and Asia with the Ukrainian Ottomans up against the Astana Islands of Kazakhstan. They're all square. As expected, an explosive and even match to start tonight's competition. There's the right hand from Zakopov that caused Butsenko all the trouble in the first, and he's started the third brilliantly here, the Kazakh boxer. He's looking for that right again, over the top it goes. Yet yeah, needed a good start from the round, didn't he? And he got it. A lapse in concentration there from Budsenko. Just took his eye off the ball a little bit there and got caught with that right hand. But again, there's nothing in it, Nick, but a definite better start from the round for Zakopov. This is how he boxed the first round. Zakopov at range. Almost frustrating Butsenko. And as he comes in to try and make the attack, the counter punch with the right hand. Really has been explosive. Just a slip. Head a little low. I think Zakopov also, Nick, sorry to interrupt, but I think Zakopov also is just starting to work on the inside a little bit better now. So he's, ad he's adapted, he's adjusted his style, he's starting to box a lot more now on the inside, let's have a look at what the referee's doing here. There's a problem with the lace and the boots, Richie. He's a good referee though, very good referee. Yeah, yeah Michael Gallagher, Michael yeah. Gallagher. yeah. Well, he's certainly in absolute control of this uh, opening bat. Oh, there's a good shot this time from Butsenko, just when he needed it. But the return and the counter-punching from Zakopov in the gold shorts as impressive. This is where Butsenko wants him, in the corner, in close. I think he's also boxing to instruction here, Zakopov. He's, he's keep staying at range at all costs, isn't he? He's got to stay at range. The right target, the right hand especially, but it's all long arm stuff. On the inside, he's starting to work a little bit more now, but he prefers to box at range. That's sensible. Under a minute. To go in this third round, Zakopov in the gold took the first, Butsenko came back in the blue shorts and took the second. Oh, a good combination, three-punch combination from Zakopov. Yeah, he's... He's, he's turned back to this counter punchy style on the back foot now, Nick, and that's why he's having more success. But Senko's feet are a little bit slower as he's coming forward, and so he's walking onto the shots. And that's what's happening. Zakabov can see those attacks coming now. He adjusts his feet, brings him onto punches. It's a better display from Zakabov this round. Uh, almost taunting Butsenko now, Zakabov. And as he moves forward, that right counter punch which has been so effective from the start of this opening uh, bout, hits the target. Let's take another look at some of the replays here, Richie. Yeah, the crowd absolutely loved it here. What a sweet right hand that was from Zakopov. Bang on the target, makes his opponent miss there. Then he switches downstairs. Like we said, he started to work more on the inside, but Butsenko keeps coming forward. His feet are getting slower, walking onto shots. I've got that third round for Zakopov. Let's see if... The judges agree, Zakopov, Miras Zakopov goes 2-1 up. 
Now we start to look at the power, the strength reserve, how much is in the tank for these two boxers. They've been going at a frenetic pace for the first three, Richie. Yep. Can they keep this pace up for four and five? Well, it may have an impact on the result the next two rounds because uh, the fitness, off. rather, of these boxers. But I just think that sense that Butsenko is getting a little bit more tired than what Zakopov is. Round four. Penultimate Go round. Now, Zakopov for the Astana Arlands in the golden black shorts has the advantage. Two rounds to one. As you say, Richie, boxing off that back foot. Nice and solid, keeping the Ukrainian at range. But Senko trying his best with that southpaw stance to get inside. Yeah, Zakopov holding the centre of the ring very well, won't commit himself. I think there might be a cut. Right eye of Zakopov, there is a little nick there. He's wiping the blood away. Michael Gallagher, the referee there from Ireland, taking a second look at that cut of the Kazakh boxer. Now things may change now, Nick. This may bring Butsenko, it might give him confidence, yet the referee wants the doctor to have a look at that cut. Well, we saw one or two badly cut boxes in it yesterday's first part of this final, but uh, there were no stoppages due to cuts in uh, all five of the bags, and I'll be surprised if we have to stop this one. Well, you know, this isn't amateur boxing, this is professional boxing, and um, in, in amateur boxing a lot of bouts are stopped on cuts, but in professional boxing then they have a good look at it, and again the referee and he's saying, yeah, that's OK, and that, that's, that's good to see. Now, can Butsenko capitalise here, or can Zakopov raise his game as Butsenko now starts to really turn it on, sensing that this is his chance to take this round and put it all down to the fifth and final. Yeah, that's the red rag to the bull, isn't it? Now, Butsenko coming forward, encouraged from what he sees in front of him. His opponent's cut and he wants to try and make that worse. So he's on that front foot and looking for those shots. Well, the blood on the face of Butsenko is that of Zakopov's, not his own. 1.30 left in this fourth round. Butsenko knows he must win this round if he's to take the bantamweight division here tonight. Now, this is a big test for Zakopov physically to keep his man at bay. How strong is he? How accurate is he with the shots? He's getting a little bit more tired now himself, holding on the inside, but he's got to keep his man at distance. Slight tendency for Zakopov to drop his guard in between exchanges. He needs to be careful there and not forget that he's got quite a badly cut right eye. Sometimes, Nick, that can be part of the game plan, though, to drop your guard, to draw your opponent in, to bring him onto the shot. But I do think, I agree with you, I think he might be getting a little bit more tired here, more blood coming down. Now and again, the heads are clashing. He's got to watch what he's doing here, Zakipov. And again, a close round. Who's your money on? I think Butsenko has got back into it here. Oh, and there's a lovely good shot there. A good, strong left hand from Butsenko just when he needed it. Five seconds off the bell. That could have been enough to make it 2-2, or will Zakopov take that round 3-1 and really put the pressure on Butsenko? For me, just Butsenko. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. I thought Bet Butsenko there. There was more urgency in his work on the front foot, working well downstairs, gets caught there with a shot, but backing his opponent up, and the referee had to stop it there to to have a look at the cuts, but Zakipov had his moments also. Good counter-punching, in-and-out stuff. Just gets caught there with his hands low, like you suggested. Oh, it's not enough. That Zakipov has uh, taken it uh, two to one. Uh, judge, 10-9, uh, 9-10, 10-9. It's a 10-point must-score system. And uh, that means the pressure now Senko. is uh, really on uh, Butsenko. He'll need to stop. Zakopov to uh, take this uh, bantamweight 
division bad. The first of five weight five, divisions to be contested here. We knew it would be close. But uh, now... Senko really does need to find some big punches to try and stop Zakopov in this fifth and final round. Yeah, a little bit disappointed there for, for Butsenko. I thought he might have just done enough. Not going to argue too much, though, because there wasn't a lot in the round, but I just thought uh, with, the, with the doctor having a look in his eye and the, the blood there and him coming forward a little bit more, there's more urgency for Butsenko. I thought he just might have done enough, but there you go. Oh, Butsenko's getting through here. He knows he needs to find his biggest punches of the bout so far. Oh, that's a lovely time right hand there from Zakipov. Excellent stuff, hitting the target, because if he gets that wrong, if he misses the target, he's overcommitted and then he'll get caught himself. Skillful boxing there from Zakipov. Tip from Butsenko. Kazakh crowd on their feet. That was not a blow from Zakopov to put the Ukrainian on the canvas. Looking a little tired, both boxers now. Blooded face of Zakopov. Just now needs to possibly stick to that tactic. Yeah, but but saw him dominate the first, finishing off the same way in the fifth. And the problem that Butsenko's got now, he keeps walking onto that right hand. He's got to move more to his, to his right, away from that right hand. He keeps moving to his left. And that's why he's walked onto too many. Again, it's been a good boxing display, a clever display from Zakopov here. Doesn't look like there's a lot left in the tank for Butsenko. For me, he's looking a little tired now. Still wants to move forward, but doesn't have the speed of punches that saw the Ukrainian take the second round. And just as you say, that whips that left uppercut, or bolo shot, as we call it, into the, into the body of Zakipov. Great punch. What he needs to do after that is maybe throw the right hook, double up a little bit with it. But it's a super shot, that one, and it does weaken your opponent if you hit the target, especially the solar plexus. Credit where it's due for Mikola Butsenko, still coming forwards, still trying his best at the southpaw to get that foot inside. Oh, and there's oh. a good left shot there, but a great counter punch from Zakupov at the same time. Right to the closing seconds, these boxers giving their all. A brilliant start to tonight's final. The bell goes at the end of the fifth, and it looks like Kazakhstan has opened the lead now to 4-2 against the Ottomans from Ukraine. What a spectacular start to tonight's card. But yep. it looks like Miras Zakupov has just done enough, Richie. Yep, tremendous contest there. The last round especially, the both boxers gave it their all, didn't they? And Butsenko coming forward, got caught with the right hand, but he also delivered some lovely left hand himself, and especially whipping the, the body shots in, in also. Very, very close round. If I had to go either way, maybe Butsenko again for me just nicked it, but it could have gone either way. Very close. People all around us on their feet. They loved it. Fantastic contest. Ten thousand tickets sold out tonight here at the uh, Sariarka Velodrome in Astana. And this could be the perfect start to the home team. Ladies and gentlemen, we have decision of judge committee. Judge one, 49, 46. Judge two, 48, 47. Judge three, 49, 46. The winner is Red Corner, Miras Miras Zakupov, after that uh, defeat in week 10, gets back to his winning ways, perhaps in the most important bout of the season, perhaps the most important bout of his professional career to date.
Miras Zakipov had to dig deep to deliver the points to the Astana Arlands, but dig deep he did. And what a spectacular start to tonight's competition, and what a great result for Zakipov. Yeah, tremendous contest. Good display of boxing from him, and he was really tested there and pushed all the way by a real gutsy opponent who gave it his all, Butsenko. Uh, and probably on reflection, the judges have just got it right. I actually thought Butsenko very unlucky in a couple of those rounds, but nevertheless, not, not a lot in the contest at all, but a good display from Zakopov. And Astana Arlands now are going to be very difficult to beat, aren't they, over the two legs. Good performance. Well, uh, there is the president of the Association of International Boxing, uh, Dr. Chinquo Wu, will be making the awards. The crowd absolutely delighted to see Miras Zakupov take the opening uh, bout tonight in the bantamweight division. We move on to the lightweight division. 57 to 61 kilograms. And for Kazakhstan, He's an Irish boxer. Coming up next, Eric Martin Donovan is a boxing for the Astana Islands, and he will go up against uh, Gislitsin from the Ukraine. And the lightweight competition should be as equally 